Emma, a bright 17-year-old, was once full of life. She was outspoken, social, and loved music. Lately, her parents have noticed Emma becoming more withdrawn, spaced out, and her piano playing has stopped. They took her to the doctor, concerned that their daughter had started using drugs. After running blood and urine tests and having them come back negative, the doctor sent them back home. After a few weeks, Emma became more withdrawn and depressed. She had anxiety attacks and hallucinations. However, beyond psychological symptoms, Emma had begun to have jerky movements, ataxia, and seizures. Emma's parents decided to take her back to the doctors where they ran an MRI and found abnormalities in the cerebral cortex, striatum, and thalamus of the brain. Doctors then ran a cerebral spinal fluid exam because of concerns that Emma had contracted creutzfeldt jakob disease, or CJD. The test results confirmed that Emma had an elevated level of the 1433 protein, which has been recorded in people with CJD. After doctors confirmed their findings, they asked the family about their diet, as CJD has a direct correlation with bovine spongiform encephalopathy, or BSE. The family admitted that they process their own beef and that they have had several cows acting oddly and dying. Could their daughter's sickness really be caused by something as simple as what she had eaten? The doctors asked the family to send in the head of a deceased cow to a veterinary diagnostic lab for analysis. The tests that they ran on the brain included immunohistochemistry, or IHC, and immunoblot. When the family got the results back, they found that the brain had tested positively for BSE, commonly known as mad cow disease. CJD and BSE are caused by abnormal proteins called prions. Prions are unlike bacterial or viral infections, as they have no nucleic acids. This is the reason they are resistant to heat, UV light, radiation, and disinfectants. Even to date, there is no treatment or cure for prions. Since prions are responsible for genetic, sporadic, and acquired forms, they don't cause an immune response in the host the way bacteria and most viruses do. When prions affect the brain in diseases like CJD and BSE, they form tiny holes that give the brain a sponge-like appearance. These holes are seen during the ne necropsy or autopsy. The prions are spread through the consumption of the remains of dead animals or the meat of infected animals. This is how it is spread to humans so easily. To this day, the process by which PRP converts healthy normal prions to the disease form remains unknown. As predicted, Emma's condition deteriorated rapidly, and soon she was placed on hospice care to make her as comfortable as possible. As her family grieved, their herd was isolated and destroyed in order to keep the disease from spreading. After Emma passed away, an autopsy was performed as this is the only way to confirm the presence of CJD in the brain. The results came back positive. In all reality, a situation very similar to this played out in Europe in the 80s. Mad cow and CJD caused those who were in Europe for more than three months to be removed from donor lists around the world. There are still no tests that can be run on a living bovine or human to positively diagnose BSE or CJD. There is no cure and no vaccine. The only hope for extinction of this disease is prevention by not feeding products of dead or slaughtered animals and disposal of all animals that are suspected of having disease.